The Wind Loading tab is where you enter your wind settings for your area. In this video, you'll learn what properties you can set on the Wind Loading tab. Lateral wind loads are only applied to wall members, so only update this tab if you are designing wall studs, wall columns, or headers, and are interested in applying those wind loads. If you want to enter your own loads on the Loads tab, turn on this checkbox at the top. That will enable the wind magnitude in the lateral loads grid. It will also hide the other wind load settings. The other settings displayed in this tab are dependent on the job's building code. For IBC, you select your risk category and input your basic wind speed. The wind zone maps will help you know what to enter for your area. For NBCC, you select your province or territory and location. That will fill in the appropriate wind pressure for that area. If you know your wind pressure, you can also manually enter it by selecting Custom in the Wind Load Application Type. These wind load settings for the job, along with the level's lateral wind load design settings, are used to calculate the lateral load applied to a wall member. Unless you check the Do Not Apply Wind Load Settings checkbox at the top of this tab. Then you enter the load manually. After you select your wind load settings, be sure to save them as the default so new jobs get created with these selections. You will see this button on multiple tabs. Saving defaults can save you time by setting up your jobs, levels, or members the way you want them. If you ever need to reset these defaults, go to Settings and click Reset All Job Defaults. If you need more information about the wind loading tab, launch Help or chat with someone on our support team.